Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. This is my second day of reacting to the 2019 NFL's Top 100 list. I'm really looking forward to it. Today we're going to crack back into it at number 95, Kyle Fuller, cornerback for the Bears. I'm going to make sure my screen recorder is going because the last thing I want is to do a couple of reactions and realise the screen recorder is not going. That will give you depression, honestly. And we don't need that today. We've got two caffeinated beverages. We've got one, which is Amino Energy, in my Major Key Physics electric shaker, which is mixing up nicely for me. And we've got our trusty coffee. We're back, guys. We're back for some, re We're back for some reactions. Forgive me if I do mumble my words a little bit. It is 5.49 in the morning. I'm getting up fucking early these days, guys. I've got to say I'm proud of myself. I feel great at this time of morning. You know, no one's around, especially in this office, man. No one's here. I can be as loud as I want. The gym is downstairs whenever I want it. I've got my PlayStation here. I've got Major Key Physiques going on. I fucking love this shit. Anyways, guys, let's, let's get into this, man. Number 95, Kyle Fuller. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Let's do it. That teaches the son, little brother teaches the other brother. His older brother, Vincent, and... He's got a brother? Corey, his younger brother, Kendall, played at Virginia Tech. What? He's got two brothers. And in the NFL. It's family business, man. Must be family business. Cal Fuller. I think Cal Fuller definitely deserved to be on there. He so deserved it. Kyle Fuller here is is um is playing is playing at that level right now. Two of the best corners in the league, baby. Twenty and twenty-two, man. All the way up at the Hubo. Twenty-three and twenty. Twenty and twenty-three. <laughs> number twenty-three, Kyle Fuller. Wrong number. Profile after a forgettable start to his career. In two thousand sixteen, he missed the entire season with a knee injury. In two thousand seventeen. He was almost cut at the end of training camp. Oh. Last year, he had eight interception opportunities. Oh, and he didn't get them. He didn't get any of them. Look, um, you know, it's it's almost it, it's almost in my mind uh, not accepted. What's the word? It's almost expected that a player who has made it to the NFL and has become successful in the NFL somewhat has already had somewhat of a knee injury. ACL, MCL, knee injury, it doesn't matter what they fucking have. It, there's something, something's gone wrong, some sort of injury. And that means that these players are coming back and they're not at the 110% intensity, 110% um, you know, ability. Because they've always got that little thought in the back of their mind about their knee injury or, or whatever injury they've gone through. Or do you think they can come back 100% mentally and physically? Or is there always going to be that one little inkling in their, in their mind that's going to stop them from either, you know, duking that way or, or stepping that way as hard as they can? Um, I'm thinking that by the time they come back to the game, they will be able to run 100% because the rehab would be so in-depth. It's just a little observation. He caught two of them. This year he's caught seven of them. The oh, best good stuff. Oh, Sometimes look at this guy. It's good to mess up. Because it kind of resets you. Kyle Fuller's been on the sideline playing catch in between series just to keep himself warm. And his oh, nice. See the dividends paid off. We don't just celebrate touchdowns anymore. We celebrate takeaways. In 2018, Kyle Fuller held opposing quarterbacks to the third lowest passer rating behind Jalen Ramsey and Patrick Peterson. Hmm. He did this while being the second most targeted cornerback with 105 targets. Fuller was right there, the ball deflected up in the air. Fuller isn't quite an island yet, but he's close. Fuller, Archipelago, Pelago, I don't even know how you say it. it. Looks like the piece of land that just juts out. You gotta forget it's there. Fuller, Archipelago. 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 The 
Ramos not know how to pronounce that? You don't need to know how to pronounce it. Oh. But you'd better know where Fuller is on the field. He's got to have good hops, surely. So, Fuller Ar Archipelago. Ar Fuller Archipelago. It's right there, just kind of off to the side. You forget about it until it catches an interception. Pieces of land don't catch interceptions. Shouldn't have said that. Hey, is that right, mate? Is that right? Archipelago. Um, all right, Kyle Fuller. Now, you know, after watching a guy, what's his name? Um, what was his name? Byron Jones, cornerback for the Cowboys. He, when I watched his, well, actually it, it showed um, a bit of his combine footage, and he jumped 10, no, 12 feet 3 inches on the broad jump. And he had a 45 inch vertical and a 4.4340. Now, I want to look at Kyle Fuller. I want to see his stats. I want to see his hops. I want to see how far he can jump, how high he can jump, and how fast he is. Because I'm assuming he's going to be able to jump like a... Well, I said like a kangaroo in the last video. Let's have a look. Show me these stats. We've got a 38.5 inch vertical, a 10 foot 8 inch broad jump, and a 12 rep bench press effort. 4.49 seconds in the 40 yard dash. He was ranked as the top cornerback prospect in the draft by Mike Mayock. He was ranked the third best cornerback by DraftScout.com and the sixth best cornerback by Sports Illustrated. He made the Pro Bowl last year and he came in at number 95 on the top 100 players of 2019. He has played a total of 64 games he started 62. He's got 204 tackles and 39 assisted tackles. No sacks. 15 interceptions for 157 yards, with the longest interception run being 35 yards. No touchdowns. Let's go. All right, guys. That was the first one of the day, number 95. The next one, 94, Mitchell Schwartz. Offensive tackle. So you've got the center, you've got the guards, you've got the tackles. You've got the left tackle and right tackle. Left tackle is protecting the quarterback when he's, well, it's when he's a, a right-handed player. The right tackle is protecting the quarterback more so when he's a left-handed player. Is that right? Let me know, guys. In the meantime... I'm going to take another sip of this. Try and wake the fuck up. Because the one after that is TJ Watt. And I know there's one guy out there looking forward to me doing TJ Watt. So General Show HD, tune in, mate. Don't miss it. Peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next one.